Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is a Stock Market Wrap-Up for Wednesday, April 8th. We're going to take a look at the uh, market action today, and then we're going to look at four stocks, Alibaba, Chihu 360, Vips, Vip Shop, I guess is what it is, and YY. Okay, let's start off here with the Dow, up 27 points today. But again, we had a little bit of a fade here in today. You know, it was up, it was challenging, and then it sells back off again. And so, I don't know. I mean, this this is going to have to, this environment's going to have to change for me to, you know, it's just, it's, uh, it's just not acting bullish. But I mean, it could just be in a little bit of a stall mode. I mean, it's hard to, hard to tell right now. I mean, especially the way on the Dow it's hanging below the uh, that trend line and the wedge that we've got here. And it's right on the trend line here on the S&P 500. Again, kind of a small range, tight range today. Uh, let's see, the range yesterday was about 13, a little over 13 points. The range today was about the same, 13.3. So again, not a wide range of trading. Uh, let's see, what is this one here? About 15. So these last couple of days, yesterday and today, uh, been the tightest of the last, what, two, four, six, seven, uh, seven days. Uh, you had a 10-point spread here. So I wouldn't actually say that's super tight, not like back up here on the 23rd, March 23rd. Uh, but it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere fast either. And the NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ was a little more to the upside today, up 20. Uh, so that closed above yesterday's range, I believe. The high yesterday, 49, 40. Yeah, slightly above the high, yesterday's high. So that's a nice look, looking little bullish bar on the NASDAQ. Uh, but again, not quite sure what's going on. It seems to be within the wedge to a certain degree. Uh, if we pull this wedge on out. Yeah. I mean, so again, all within this rising wedge, which again, whenever I see this type of formation, yeah, you get a little bit apprehensive because it just it's a bearish it's a bearish tone whenever you have a rising wedge like that. Okay, and tonight, a little guest appearance by the Shanghai Composite Index. So we're going to look at this. Uh, this has just really been taking off like crazy and. Um, pushing higher and higher. Now this this looks a little bit like what a candlestick formation called a hanging man, this uh, bar, this one bar today. So we'll see whether that's any kind of intermediate top or not. Uh, let's take a look uh, at uh, previous support in terms of where we're at. 39.94. So we're you know we're giving it we got above this this resistance point here. And we're rapidly pushing up this you know, up this mountain, and uh, this is in a pretty steep, pretty steep rise uh, that it's off on. So uh, we'll see. I mean, this almost looks a little bit like five ways, but it's not totally clear, and it could be something else. So we'll see. Right now, it's super strong. Look how it's riding outside the Keltner channels and just right above the moving averages. All the moving averages align to the high side. We are getting a little divergence here, though. On two out of the three, I believe. Mm, yeah, we're not getting it on the RSI, but two out of the three indicators are showing a little bit of bearish divergence. All right, let's take a look at the short-term trading index. Not much change. Stuck in the middle. The VIX. Uh, again, not a whole lot to tell you. It's, uh, well, one thing I did notice on the VIX, I caught this earlier today. This looks a little bit like, um, let me pull this around, looks a little bit like a head and shoulders bottom, a possible, you know, just so there could be some kind of bottoming going on. And, you know, that's something that just kind of caught my eye. So we'll just have to see whether that materializes or not. But we are down in that territory where it's very, very, it just usually didn't get a whole lot lower, but it can just stay down here for a while. I mean, as you can see. 
you know, like right in here. I mean, you can just kind of, you know, stick there for a while. So we'll see. I mean, it's uh, I'm not seeing anything other than that. Uh, high low index, same thing, just kind of going sideways. Again, this is the New York Stock Exchange 52 week high low and the McClellan oscillator. It pulled back today. So again, closing back down here more to the neutral line and uh, let me make sure that's the final. Yeah, that's the that's what I've got in terms of a final at 25.99. Sometimes the readings on these are just slightly off depending on the inputs uh, and where you got your inputs. But uh, yeah, that is fairly neutral on that. All right, let's take a look at some of our market ETFs. Semiconductor, how does it know that's where I want to go? All right, so this one, let's see. Short-term trend is to the downside. Again, we had this big move down. We're not getting much. I mean, if this is meant to be, you know, a move to the high side, we're just, there's nothing kicking in on this thing today. We did not take out yesterday's high. Uh, we'll just have to, you know, just continue to monitor this, whether or not we are now continuing to be in a downtrend or whether it's trying to turn. And I, I talked about this being kind of a key line that's going to need to break to the upside for this to be turning around. Uh, Home Builders ETF. <clears throat> Again, the consolidating sideways, although a little bit of kind of bullish action in today's trading, although there's not a whole lot you can make of it. Very small bar inside trading almost. Yeah, it looks like it's inside yesterday's range. Uh, so basically just stuck in a little bit of consolidation here. Moving averages are still trending to the high side though. And the last one we'll take a look at is the Financial Select uh, Spider. And that, that's a similar type look, uh, similar in terms of, you know, trading range inside yesterday's sideways consolidation over the last several days, seven days. Uh, so again, you know, as the indicators are all showing, we're just not getting a signal and we're going to need to break out of this uh, congestion to get a kind of move. And you can see that it looks like we're getting that. I mean, if we drew a line, you know, right in here, something like this and line across this pivot in here, you know, you could just see the uh, how it's being caught up in this little congestion pattern here. OK. Um, Let's see. I think that's it for the ETFs. So let's dive in and take a look at Alibaba. Alibaba had a big move today, up uh, 3.18 on the close, and it closed almost right on the high, and uh, pretty good volume. Now, here's my only caution about this. I mean, we have had other days like this. This one was even stronger. Now, at some point, it's probably going to turn. But I still view this, that this is in this, uh, you know, kind of a triangular consolidation down here. It has not broken out yet. Um, the volume was big today. I mean, if you look at that, I mean, it was good anyway. Not the biggest, but 26 million, well above the 50-day moving average. And let's see, the RSI, all the indicators kind of popped. This is one I thought was kind of interesting. This almost looks like a little bit of a... A breakout mode here on the RSI and the uh, demand index has gone positive and these it's not signal they're both about equal here DI plus equals DI minus so I don't you know right now I would still have to say it is caught up in this sideways consolidation and uh, until we get a close you know above this and we start to get some uh, some kind of movement um, you know, it's hard for me to all of a sudden, you know, get super bullish on it. And, you know, we've got all that hanging over us in terms of the, um, you know, the, the amount of shares that can now be liquidated. Uh, the lockups are off. Well, there's one one lockup. There's a huge one coming, I guess, August, September time frame. OK, Chihu 360 had a nice move today. Real nice move up 6.03. And this is one I think may have completed its correction. OK, I look, let's look back at this. A couple of things going on. Had this big head and shoulders and it, the projected target, it hit the projected target. And uh, you know what? I've got that in. Let me turn that, put the semi log back on. 
it, it what what happens that's why this projected target is now a little more real. I was looking at the head going really could that be what was what was projected so I had it on um, had the semi log off I had it on arithmetic because sometimes trend lines uh, the moves will fit the trend lines better on that uh, on arithmetic uh, so sometimes you just have to you know bounce back and forth when you're trying to fit the trend lines and see what the longer term move looks like okay so let me move us out to the side so here's here's the big head and shoulders move came down I think this was kind of like a you know complex W X Y and I'm gonna I'm gonna call it that it's pat this is well past being equal to w uh what this pattern is i'm really not sure it looks <clears throat> a little bit like a zigzag and then a, a, a connecting and you know and then almost another zigzag uh kind of combination this does look like five waves in here now the nice thing i like is that it's it's breaking this trend line in here and of course that trend line has changed after i took the uh, put the semi log back on but that's not changing that and this is just super super powerful move I like the way the moving averages are starting to come up uh, you know we had good uh, positive divergence down here and huge volume 8.4 million shares today now the the one caveat on this or the one thing it's going to struggle with is getting through this all of this congestion right in here right so you look at all of that okay and you put a line right through the middle of that and that's going to come right over here pretty doggone close to where it stopped today so we'll see whether or not it can get through this and close above it or not that's going to be Chihu's challenge okay let's uh, let's go back vips vip shop Vip shop holdings this thing now this looks like a rising wedge to me also okay and you know we're getting some you know divergence in here but man this stock just does not want to die and it's just now we're getting this divergence right in here but it just refuses to roll over you know it looks like maybe it was going to start right here after getting this divergence and then it, well it comes right back so Super, super strong stock, super strong, uh, you know, moving average alignment, uh, bullish mood. So, you know, maybe this wedge is going to morph into something else. I, I don't know. Uh, so right now, this kind of strong trend, uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to try to uh, play it to the downside, even though I'm seeing some divergence. You know, it, just wait and see if it sets up for another move, uh, you know, like, pullback and sets up for another move to the high side and the last one tonight is YY which also had a huge move today look at this now this is another one I think that may be correct the corrections over with now the t uh, you know it's uh, Chi who broke this you know that downward trend line this just kind of got to this trend line it was actually in a channel let me back out of this so here's what I'm looking at with YY I think we had five waves up intermediate waves up to a primary wave one we've now had this big corrective pattern in here an a b c flat Elliott wave flat and so now i think based on what's going on here there's a good good chance that this is starting to break out now it needs to get outside this channel it needs to break this trend line which it tried to do during the day today uh, but then closed right underneath it now the other thing I saw, and you know I'm kicking myself for not playing because I saw saw this a few uh, few days ago, is this little head and shoulders down in here, okay? And you know, just really nice drawing this trend line. Get the moving averages crossed. After this moving average cross, this would have been the perfect time to buy, but. I just you know this this huge move to the downside just uh, I just couldn't bring myself to do it yet so we'll see uh, what kind of um, let me get rid of that we'll see after a big move like this again a lot of times there's consolidation we'll see you know I mean you know, there's no guarantee I mean here's a big move and then it just kind of consolidates for a few days and, and starts to set up and we'll see whether it goes anywhere uh, but it does look like it's starting to turn. So um, you see this, and of course, with you know, with 
the Shanghai Composite doing what it's doing, you know, I've often been wondering, okay, when are some of these Chinese stocks going to start heading to the upside again? And now I'm starting to wonder if, you know, YY and Chihu and, uh, you know, maybe some of these others are, are making a turn. So that's the way it looks tonight. All right, that's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow night with another market wrap up. And uh, like I said before, if you're not watching this, if you're watching this anywhere besides my website, head on over there, check out the posts and the, the other things I've got for you. And if you're uh, not a subscriber, subscribe. It's very easy to do. It gives you access to the Trade Ideas webpage and uh, the Five Essentials PDF and um, email updates. Okay, this has been Joe from Beyond the Chart. Everyone have a great Thursday. We'll talk to you tomorrow night.